First things first, this will be by far the least spiritually enriching talk that you're gonna hear this entire conference, I guarantee it. Hey, real quick, so this was actually recorded for Youth Pastor Conference 2021, so if it sounds like I'm speaking to a bunch of strangers for the first time, that's why. Um, that being said, I feel like it fits really well with the branding on a budget series, so I wanted to include it here, but let's go ahead and jump back in. Um, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a preacher, I'm not qualified to give that talk. I'm a designer. And that being said, I've been in student ministry on and off staff and volunteer roles just in different ways for the better part of the past 15 years. And in that time, I've been there with you. I have eaten crusty old pizza the fifth day in a row. I have put my life and my dignity and my sanity on the line doing these crazy games that you thought of to maybe get one more kid to show up. I get it. I've sat in your office and I know what you've got hidden in your closet. It's a secret that you wish nobody else knew. And if you could go back to your younger self and shake yourself, you would just say, please like do this differently. What you've got is a big brown box of t-shirts that no one wants anymore. But guys, today we're gonna take off the shackles. We're gonna find freedom from the brown box and we're going to experience the glory of kids that actually wanna wear the merch that you print. My name's Josh, you may know me as Bright Cole, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about three ways to make sure you sell out a merch next time you print. The beautiful thing about these is you don't need a big budget, you don't need a designer, as much as I would love to work with each and every one of you, you don't need me to apply these principles. Rule number one, buy 20% less merch than you think you need. So if you got 50 kids coming, buy enough for 40 kids. And you think, oh man, but what about little Timmy? He's gonna be so sad. That's fantastic because you know what's gonna happen? So little Timmy's gonna wait with his $20 till the last day of camp and like, well, maybe, and it's all gonna be gone. And two things are gonna happen in that moment. One, all the other kids that got their merch are gonna go, oh shoot, I have a hot commodity now. This shirt now means more to me, or this hat, or whatever. And Timmy is gonna go, oh, I'm so sad. And he's also, next time you have an event, gonna be sure who's gonna be first in line when you're at the merch table open. Who's gonna be buying stuff the first night? Little Timmy, he's never gonna miss that again, right? So the next time you say, hey, better sign up for the thing or buy the thing, you've now created, albeit artificially, you've created scarcity. Now the thing that you have to offer has a shelf life and a time limit and a, an immediacy that needs to be acted on. This is a powerful human thing that yes, we as student pastors are going to manipulate to our advantage, just like we do with games, just like we do with other stuff. And you say, what about my leaders? What about my volunteers? I wanna have some extra to give away. Great, you can either order some extra and keep them secret and give them to them, or you can make all of them pay for stuff too at a discounted rate, whatever floats your boat. But the key is the kids need to know that stuff sells out. Rule number two, get the right fit and the right look. And again, I know, okay, so I know I said you don't need a designer, but there is a, an eye involved here, right? You could have the best artwork in the world on the wrong color t-shirt, on the wrong, printed in the wrong size or the wrong way, and it's not gonna move as fast as the bad or okay design on the right fit. Finding out who has a good read on style and invite them into the conversation. Uh, for me, it's my wife. She has a golden eye for fashion. She bought this uh, illustrious, uh, sweatshirt that I'm wearing. So anytime I'm, I'm curious about, hey, what color wave should we go with? I talk to her. There's other influential kids in your group. You know who they are. They don't need to drive the ship or drive the conversation, but you should definitely invite them in, account for what they're thinking, and use that as kind of a, a, a waypoints along along your, your decision-making process. The other thing is, so I keep talking about you don't need a designer. A lot of times you can make killer merch with the right phrase on there, right? You've got like, you know, Helvetica in some tiny little like cute phrase or whatever written across your chest. And like, it, it did not take a lot of design time to make some of these things work, right? 
So the same thing is true here. Sometimes embroidering something really tiny in the middle of a crew neck sweatshirt is gonna mean miles more than having some crazy intricate thing. It all depends on what you've got access to and again, what your kids are into and just what makes sense for where you're at. Rule number three, and this is a cool one, exclusive merch pre-sales. What I mean by that is you can take the same artwork as you've already printed for the big run and flip the colors, put it on some kind of riskier or trendier color that might not play as well for the big group. So for example, like um, tie dye or something like that. So you get your main art that you're doing, you're printing your shirts, all that's, that's well and good. The event is two months away and you say, hey, starting this date Friday to this date Tuesday, you'll only can order online to get the limited run of tie-dye versions of that same shirt. You get them, the kids have them then in hand for camp or for the event, and they there's no other opportunity to get them. There's two couple of different ways to do it. You can do drop shipping through something like Printful or Printify or Terminus Tees, but then you can also just like still have killer margins and order your stuff in advance. And so like, hey, cool, got my all my orders submitted from third Friday to Tuesday. Then I know exactly how many sizes and what, what kids want it. And if two kids order, great, you order two shirts. If 38 kids order, great, you got 38 shirts. And that way you've just got them all on hand. They come pick them up the next night and guess what you have? Zero overage, right? So your kids have access to exclusive cuts and if it flops, it's totally cool. Nothing off your back. So it allows you that liberty to do some crazier colors, crazier designs, stuff that's a little bit out there that maybe not everybody's gonna like. So you've got some, you can be braver a little bit with that choice. And it just feels really cool and like you're being intentional and getting, it's another reason to talk about your event without saying like, hey, register again. Remember, remember we have an event coming up. Instead, now you've got like a visual more exciting way to kind of keep that conversation going. So just to quickly recap, we got number one, under order. The amount of stuff that you think that you're gonna need for your merch table. Number two is make sure you've got the right fit and the right look. And your kids, your people can kind of help guide that and inform that conversation. And number three, do an exclusive online only pre-sale. That'll do it for today, folks. If you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe, share this video with a youth pastor you know that's got an old box of t-shirts in their office. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Um, that's it. Adios. Right, go, baby. Raining on the budget, man, you haters, you can't touch it. If you're trying to step to him, then you better pop shove it. We get your logo popping like a poker stick and stopping. When you branding on the budget, man, the haters can't touch it. Branding on the budget, Brent, branding on the budget. Branding on the budget, man, the haters can't.